Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here today to do a Patreon request from this Patreon right here. Ask us to check out some Lindman with Home Sweet Home live in Moscow. I bet you guys a few ruples that Radio Tupac was in the crowd. Probably. He was in the crowd. He was taking some notes on, on, the, on his next cover. He was, next translating. Cover. He was yeah, translating. Yeah, he was, he was doing some transcribing. Transcribing. He was doing some transcribing. He was taking some mental notes. Taking some mental notes. And then going into into his crib, uh, into the studio. What do you call that place? The 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 den. The, the den. I'm I'm trying to come up with a cool name for it. But he goes in there, and he, the juices starts flowing, and he starts putting things together. Next thing you know, he comes out with with a cover that's nearly as good as the original, perhaps even better. Sometimes I think some of his songs are are better than some of the originals. But because yeah, it's a me. new take on the uh, on the original. It's a spicy take. Very spicy. It's a spicy take. All right, so Lindman, Home Sweet Home, live in Moscow. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's check this out. In a breath of a wishes see the beast came with the rain fallen upon your milky skin a cunning draw crawled in your Never ever got prepared So shaken, helpless and so scared Such a needle in your hair Go on board, there's nothing there
might drop at the end. Ah, oh, this guy's a boss. Yeah. This guy's a boss, man. Ah, oh, fuck, I love this guy. What a voice. Yeah, he has a very, very, very good voice. Regardless uh, if it's German or English. I think in German it's better. I agree with you. But I do like it when he does uh, do the songs in English because a lot of them... Uh, w one of the songs uh, I have on my phone is uh, Praise Abort. And the lyrics in that song are hilarious. I'm so glad that it's not in German. I'm able to understand it. Because the, the words in Praise Abort is funny as shit. And I mean, it's just funny to listen to him sing in English... Especially with those lyrics, um, but I, I but he's got such a strong, strong voice. voice that could command armies. Yeah, he's got this like imperial, majestic voice that just like and resonates. I, I think though, listening to this song, I think it would come off in the, especially in the chorus, if it was in German. Oh, you mean like the verses in English, but then the like the chorus is in German? Uh -huh. Oh, that would be a nice little mixture there. I don't, I don't know. For me, I like, I, I like his his English in terms of how the song sounds like he sounds really good yeah. but every time I'm listening to it and I'm like oh man I kind of wish it was German I, I don't know like, maybe I just, the I part don't... The, when they say home sweet home it's in English but then after that it goes in German for a little oh, bit oh yeah that would be nice it makes more nice. and then the verse is back in English okay I, I'm I'm done with that I think that would be a nice little mixture that would be a nice I don't know how it sounds because obviously in German it would be different than but doesn't but the, the the beauty of of him is that the, the tone the tone is the same yeah you don't like really there was lose certain it. certain parts here I was like is that German like I had to like really because he has it. that such a strong you don't voice. lose it. he doesn't lose anything by switching languages no I don't, I don't think you lose anything like he just has a really strong voice it was really nice at, at nearly the, at not at the start but at the beginning of the video or a little bit into the video where everybody had their phones or, or whatever the lights out and you see the whole crowd big crowd man this is like a big stadium crowd uh, it looked amazing when you see all the lights and everything the, the the panoramic shot of all the lights in the in the audience because it's such a such a melancholic track you know yeah. what I mean it has this this peacefulness to it and when the when you get that panoramic shot and you see everybody vibing to the song and you see all the lights in the crowd it's absolutely beautiful it's one of for me when I go to a show like a big arena big big stadium show like that and, and there's you got your phone and everything yeah like back in the day was the lighter right like I always like that that scenery the ambiance it brings that everyone it, together there's a sense of togetherness to it especially because those parts is when you sing together yeah and there's a sense that we're all we're all in this that yeah. we're all here for the same reason there's a sense of brotherhood that that really comes together with that and I always enjoy the lights stuff because it just adds it adds a different vibe to the song. It adds atmosphere to the experience. You get lost. When I'm at a show uh, like this, like a big, I'm not talking in a crowd of 10 people, obviously, but like a big arena show, and, and there's a song that calls for, you know, for people to bring out the lights. Normally now people use their cell phones, obviously. I, I just, I get, I, I think, I still think that the lighter adds a different vibe to it because the, the flame is kind of going off and on. And, yeah, but now uh, everyone smokes, so. That's what I'm saying. Now, now it doesn't happen. Now it's with a cell phone. So it looks, uh, it, it's a little bit fake, specifically for me that I grew up in the era of the lighter. Like, do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I also thought the lighter was a little bit unsafe with everyone with their long hair and the lighter and you're pushing the No, but you're all the way up here. I uh, mean, Okay, whatever. Like you and the danger whoa. hazard uh, is there. You and your microaggressions, seriously. My micro I don't think that's a micro. Care? I don't think that's a micro. Who cares? You're at a show. Somebody burns your hair. Who the fucking cares? It's part of the atmosphere. It's part of the experience. It's a story oh, yeah. for you. I'm gonna be looking at my hair burning and be like, ah, this atmosphere is amazing. <laughs> well, it's it's a story for you to tell one day to your grandkids. Hey, I went to a Lindman show and somebody burned my hair by accident. Mm -hmm. What a fucking story to tell. I told you, like. I, my first concert that I went to was Slayer. My friend broke his arm in the first song. And he stood there with a broken arm for the whole set. That's a story you can tell. That's commitment right there. Well, especially for me to tell because I wasn't the one in pain. So it was a great story for me to tell. I don't think it's that great for him. Maybe it is. Like his love of Slayer made him stay there even with a uh, broken uh, arm. Another great story. I went to see Megadeth. And, and there was three of us. Uh, there was me and my two buddies. And we're all right at the edge of the circle pit. Like, uh, not at the front of the railing, like, at, at the back end. Where the circle pit stops being a circle pit and kind of becomes the people that are just standing around watching the show. Yeah. So we were right, we were the wall. We were right that edge. One guy came shooting towards us and it hit my buddy, the one that was in between us, with his elbow in his chest, like in the middle of his chest. And he fell flat on his face. Like, I guess it took the air out know. of him and he just fell... 
and and we were vibing. I, I can't remember what song was playing. We were vibing. We both look at each other. We see him going down. We look at each other. We look at Megadeth. And we're like, <laughs> we, left the guy. Uh, we were stupid. We were young. We should have picked up the guy. Whatever. I know, like, I'm like, not missing the show. Fuck that shit. You know. Or at least, at least protect your neck. And watch the show. At least put him like on your shoulders, so even though he's unconscious or whatever. No, it's the job of the guy who knocked him down to pick him back up. That's true. I mean, that's also respect. I, I learned that being in a pit. Yeah. Like, when they knock you down, they yeah, the same guy picks you exactly. up. Exactly. Everybody looks after each other. Having said that, we weren't really looking after him. We were like men. We were kids, right? We paid a lot of money for these tickets. I'm not missing one single riff. I don't care who goes down. It's each man for themselves. You're on your own, buddy. You're on your own. You're watching the floor, and that's good for you. I'm watching the show. Eventually, somebody picked him up. But anyways. Uh, I would hope so. Yeah, the, uh, the guy who, who took him down picked him up. But anyways, the point being that when I see this, of the, the lights and stuff like that, it just creates such an incredible scenery. Such uh, an incredible atmosphere. And this is a great song, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, and it's a perfect song for that. Uh, for that to happen, for yeah. For that to happen. Uh, the lighters are cool whenever all the lighters are there, but I do like the phones too because the phones are brighter, so you can. The, f the the thing about the phones is you don't need as many in order to give you the sense that there's a lot happening. Exactly. With no, the lighters, you, you honestly need... need every single person exactly. with one. And now, like everybody is, is uh, huffing and puffing with what, what do you call that? The thing? vapes. The va stuff? yeah, like nobody has lighters anymore. I mean, let's face the facts. Like, who's gonna show up there with a lighter? Unless you smoke weed. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I guess. Well, if you go to a, a, a Remstein show, then you, you have a, a blowtorch or whatever the fuck they use on stage. So, yeah. I mean, you, at that point, you don't need any lighters whatsoever. They have all the pyro that they can use on stage. You don't, you don't need to, to bring any to add to the, to the atmosphere, if you will. Imagine getting your hair burned with one of those. Shit, I'd go bald. Well, it's a new look for you. There you go. Boom, done. The Febreze can with the with the lighter. That's, <laughs> that's your makeshift uh, flamethrower. Uh, flamethrower. All right. But overall, what did you think of the song? I, I mean, the song was so... It was has such a good feeling to it. Very, very good feeling. Very mellow, very melancholic. Exactly. It didn't have to be that uh, whole Ramstein thing because I feel like some of his songs do kind of also... Uh, they obviously take a lot of from uh, Ramstein and into into his music um but this one was kind of different because it didn't have as many elements from them it's a little bit more straightforward it's more straightforward yeah because you even in some of his other songs you can tell obviously he's taking some of the from the it's kind of hard to to separate the two i mean exactly. he's such an integral Especially part of his the band. voice doesn't change and his and voice then... like yeah it's 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 very difficult to break those two apart he's the lead singer you know, it's not like his. It's not like he uses a different style of vocals. Yeah, because if he was like a guitar player, it's a different. Yeah, it's a different story. Yeah. But it's it's kind of hard to separate those two worlds. I really like this song. I, I honestly, I like everything that he does. It doesn't really matter, and in, in which format is presented to me. I just think he's a great musician. Yeah. And he has a great way of constructing and building and putting together songs that have a, a like have an impact. Like you listen to it. Like this one it doesn't make you go crazy. Nothing, but it just makes you sit there and really enjoy it. It's a really nice crafted song like and his voice is so warm it just fills the room it just has such an incredible voice what did you think of the mic drop at the end the mic drop <laughs> i mean i think it fits him perfectly it fits him perfectly uh it's a perfect way for him to end off the show i just, agree I, I well we don't know if this is the end of the show i mean you could have just done a mic drop and, and then come back it's kind of weird for the to encore do, come back for okay the encore. encore but it's kind of weird to do in the middle of the show a mic drop first song First song, mic drop, walk off, and then quickly walk back, back on. Pick up the mic. And, exactly. Yeah, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe there's an encore after this. I don't know. All right, guys. Thank you for the Patreon that requests this song. I, I love this band. Hopefully, this doesn't get copyright uh, stricken on YouTube. M more often than not, that's what happens. With that's why we don't do a lot of, of his stuff, because they're very anal about it. Yeah, you not know? And, and, and Yeah, and not in a prison kind of way. So, uh, but anyways, let's hope for the best and we'll see you guys at the next video. Take care. See ya.